they thought the church stood for and actually had guilt. Yeah, and now they're cheering. Now they're jumping up and down because their pope has finally arrived. I understand just what you're saying. There's no sense. The very, le the very leftist garbage that that tried to tear the church apart is now cheering this pope. Why? Because politically he is them. Yep. 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 I agree. Stay on the line. Uh, stay on the line. I'll send you a copy of Government Zero the minute it's available. I made my point. I made my point earlier. I'm not going to repeat myself. I gave the man a chance to show the audience or may, name one statement I made as false, telling me to take in more, this country should take in more immigrants. This country takes in more immigrants than all the countries on earth put together. Did anyone tell that to him? WFTL, Mary Ann, you're on the Savage Nation. Yes, hello, Michael. Um, my priest directed me to you. I'm an Orthodox Roman Catholic, and until he's a, until the Pope is a manifest heretic, I will follow him on faith and morals, the doctrine and the deposit of faith, but not his opinions. I will stay within the Church, and I will fight to uphold orthodoxy and tradition. I'm not going to leave the Church, because Jesus said and promised that the gates of hell won't... Wait, wait, I, when did I ever tell you... To when did I ever tell you to leave the church? <laughs> well, I I love the Tridentine Mass, and I've... No, wait, wait, man, you know, we're talking in circles. I mean, I'm not a priest, so you don't have to give me a confessional. I don't know what you're calling to say. Do you agree with me that the Pope's politics are inappropriate in America? Uh, they are inappropriate, and uh, it was actually uh, the so. What is it that your priest? To so what is it your priest told you to do? Call me up and condemn me for criticizing the Pope at all, no. or to say that to say something? I don't quite follow you. Please, please explain. I a hang up. Oh, in my research, um, I understand the controversy. You, oh, I'm, I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm going to have a heart attack from this radio show. I, I, what did your priest tell you to do? Call me for what reason? To listen to you. Because he likes me or he doesn't like me? You speak the truth. Okay. So you can still be a Catholic and not believe in the, in the leftist rubbish that the Pope is espousing in plain English. To follow him. Uh, in okay. All right. Thank you very much. Again, follow him. Okay. Again. That's so. Boehner cried during the speech. That's how good it was. Boehner's going to have to knock down a few boy right after this speech. He's going to get that Johnny Walker red or the black. I hear the Johnny Walker blue is expensive as heck. I wonder what they're giving him uh, for that Jacksonville condo after it's all over. You know, I don't know what they got. How many how many uh, cases can he store in that in that joint he bought down in Jacksonville for after he gets the payout? These guys are so cheap in Congress, it's frightening to see what they'll prostitute themselves for. You ever see when they're indicted for what they've taken, like $300 a trip, or like a, a free suit? I can't believe how cheap they are. They're laughable. So, okay, I think the Pope's going home, isn't he? You want to talk about what, Trump now? Pope's speech, Trump. Play 80s classic hits. You don't want to hear is Rihanna. Play Rihanna for me while I'm thinking about what I want to do with the rest of the hour. It's so important. I don't want to just waste air time. How do you feel about the... Are there no evangelicals out there who are as offended as I am? First of all, I had to put up with Obama for these years of lies. That double-talking, phony, hypocrite liar, him and his wife. That's number one. Now it's... I, I thought that I had that under control. Knew who they were. Had their number. I had their number for years, Obama. Anti-religious, anti-church. All of a sudden, bingo, there he is, Mr. Thin Man. A foulest pope. Handpicked. It's like they created this man. Like they coached him. Like they schooled him in all of this leftist uh, rubbish. And here we go. Come and let them in. And the earth is a living being. And she is a crying out. And she's a being raped by man. And she needs a bleeding from the man's appearance under the earth. And I say, Sancto Hormonus, and Hormonus, and all. And I say, Hesa Mas Sancto, Sancto Maromno, Maroni, Baca Maroni. Sancto Bloni, I say the earth is a guy, or she's a crying out because her skirts are dirty from a man a kind in America, particularly I speed no good, uh, but the rest of the world is a good to uh, give him a money, uh, bring him all in. Uh. 
And abortion, not a word. Not much of that. No, no. Radical Islam didn't have much to say about that. We must watch out for a radical religion everywhere. Everything's equal now. Didn't say one word about the churches that have been burnt to the ground. The Christians enslaved. Not a word. What a disgrace this man is. You want me to really get into it? He's a disgrace. Not only is he a liar, but he's a disgrace for doing that. He had an opportunity today before Congress to marshal all of Congress, to marshal them, bring them together to fight radical Islam, to bring them together to put Planned Parenthood in jail for chopping up babies and selling the body parts. He had a chance to do so many things and he blew it. Instead, he came in to just, well, lecture us, lecture us with his homilies. I'm not buying it, and I'm not alone. Global baloney. Global baloney. Okay, I'm out of time in this segment. This is the Savage Nation. When I come back, I'll take your calls at 855 472 And I must read you another few pages from Government Zero so you can listen to the facts and the references and then debate me. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. Congress have an important role to play. You know, no good. Uh, time. Everyone who was sitting here are not a good a man or a woman. You must have taken all of the refugees from the south who only come here north for better life. You must protect the Mother Earth who is now a cry from the dirt that you have thrown in her eye. You are dirty, filthy people in America, but we love you because you have plenty of money and we must have the pews refilled I say the Congress has an important role to play. I call for a courageous and responsible effort to make a better meatball, because a better meatball can save the world. Just the last night, Miss Pelosi showed me a technique that even I, the Pope, never ever saw before. Make a meatball like I never saw before, with a sauce arrabbiata, not as good as the puttanesca from Roma, but the arrabbiata touched a nerve, a flavor note. America is very good on flavor, very good on meatball. But think of the cow. Think of how the cow is ruining the earth with the ozone. Because the cow has a bigger flop. And a bigger flop, a stink a lot. Give off a gas. And the gas, as you know, ruined the ozone layer. So tonight I ask you to give up the meat for God. Give up the meat for Gaia and worship a stone. Get a rock in the back of the yard and worship her. You'll know what the earth is. All right, I had my fun. Yeah, okay, how dare you mock a holy man? He's mocking my nation. Who asked him here? Who, who invited him here? The communist in the White House and the crybaby Bain in there sitting there weeping and weeping in Congress broke into tears. He broke into tears over this. No opposition party. Government zero. No borders, no language, no culture. Now we have a Pope telling you the same thing. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. Savage. Are quite aware of and deeply worried by the disturbing social and political situation of the world today. And the way I fix it is a better meal. And not only about the meatball, but I have a special new product introducing only a week from now a special Vatican holy water for the pasta. Only one dollar for a full bottle, good for 12 ounces of macaroni, no? And with a meatball and a new holy water for the pasta, very happy to tell you from our own vineyard, all the way from the Holy Land, we have a new wine, Papa Grigio, just for America. 
Because we know you're all a bunch of drunks who polluted the earth. So we're going to sell you some Papa Grigio. 855-407-282. A little comedy relief. I guess you're not allowed to ridicule the Pope. He's somehow above, he's above ridicule, like Obama. I get people saying, oh, how dare you ridicule Obama? You're ridiculing the office of the president. What if a complete fraud takes over the presidency who does everything antithetical to America's values? Should we sit here and take it? Well, you do. So the same applies to religion. Don't you get it? It's your obligation to stand up like a man. And when you see a false prophet arise who is not even espousing Christianity, but Marxism, what should you do? Sit there and bow down like a moron? Many of you do. Line 8 does. He's mad at me. Line 8, go ahead. You have your 30 seconds of fame. Hello? Yes, you're on the radio. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, Michael, so I, I think that you're not understanding the Pope. So the difference between the Pope's uh, thinking and yours is that the Pope has spent his whole life you know, in Christian consciousness. So that comes out. He speaks from the heart. And well, that's very good. A lot of people speak from the heart. Mussolini spoke from the heart, too. No, Mussolini spoke from the mind. Like, you know, he's picking on people that... Sir, you know, again, we could have this argument all day long and no one's going to win. I spent one and a half hours taking apart his encyclical on the environment, and I showed you that it was derived directly from the German environmental radical. Did you hear any of that? Yeah, but when you say no one's going to win... No, 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 don't go over, yeah. Don't go over, yeah. It took me months to research that. Don't don't jump over it like you heard it before. I showed you the Pope didn't even write his encyclical on the environment. It was written by a radical lover of Gaia. Don't you get that? Well, I don't think you understand. So where he's coming from is... is a no, no, I don't think you understand. You're not listening to a word I am saying. You don't understand. I just don't think you understand that he's coming from a high consciousness and you exist in a plane of low consciousness. Ah, oh, I can see. I'm not up on his high plane of communism, is that it? Well, it's, uh, we're talking Christ consciousness. If Christ comes back... Ah, please, get off, get off your high horse. The crap that he espouses is not from Jesus Christ. It's from the radical environmental academic left, my friend. Well... <laughs> I guess. Well, what, what's the what's the laughter for? Well, what's the laughter? Because you can't answer the realities of what I just presented you. Everything he said about the environment I showed you came from this 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 radical environmentalist in Germany. Uh, didn't you hear any of it? I, I did, I did, but I I, I mean I'm. All right, wait, wait. So hold it. Uh, so you agree with his views that the Earth is a living organism and we're destroying her? You know, we, are, we do all have share the same DNA, Michael. Well, I just asked you, are we destroying her? Are we destroying her? Is the planet a living being? In, in religious terms, uh, the... the I'm not, sir, you're not answering a question. You know, hell has been defined as a place where there is no reason. You're telling me I'm in a lower consciousness, but you're exhibiting no reason. No, well, but hell can also be considered... No, no, don't, don't double talk me. I don't know what you do for a living, but you're not making much sense to me. I, I, do you know that he, defi that he defines the earth as a living being and he calls her she? Are you aware of that? I, I, I guess not. I was raised Catholic, so I was not, this pope is very different, so I was not aware of that. So you didn't hear a word of my first two hours where I, I showed you where it came from. I trust the Pope's heart more than your mind, that's all I'm then, then why do you listen to me then? Just to laugh at me? I, well, no, because I find it concerning that a person like you, who probably could do much more, uh, like the Pope is doing, speaking from the heart, but your mind, you know, comes out because you're clinging... Ah, I see. So you want me to support my... You want me to support my enemies, is that it, to be a good boy? Well, I want you to be able to converse with your enemies in a more civil manner. That's all he's asking. Oh, I see. You're taking the high road. Well, the higher consciousness rather than the lower... Yes, yes, yes. The higher consciousness that you, in, that you dwell in. But he, you can see he's affecting people from speaking... He's affecting a bunch of idiots who don't even know what he's saying. What do you mean affecting people? He's affecting un uneducated people like you. Well, I have a college education, Michael. Yeah, I, I can tell you've had a college education. You sound like it. 
Well, uh, so he says that. Well, let's talk about facts here about the hippie pope. He says 